my sister and I, when we were growing up, we were kind of science nerds and all that. And my mom was a science teacher. So we would always ask my mom all these science questions and she would always answer them. And um, so, and my parents were always trying to get us into science. So they bought me this, this uh, chemistry set. <laughs> so I asked my mom somewhere along the line how to make gunpowder. And as it turns out, it's sulfur, saltpeter, and charcoal, or carbon. <laughs> and they had all this in this, in this chemistry set. So I mixed this up and had, came with this little mortar and pestle, you know, thing to grind stuff up with. And, uh, so, and I put it in a sucrets box and, and just happened to have it. And I put it in the garage and it went. I mean, this stuff went and um, burned a hole in our driveway of which my parents couldn't figure out how it happened. But um, so- Burned a hole through the concrete? Well, it's asphalt, but yes. Yeah, so burned a hole through it. And we knew we were onto something, but at that point I was out of all the stuff. So in our little Stingray bikes, we go well on a Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Got our Stingray bikes and drove and rode about 50 miles on Stingray bikes down to this uh, scientific supply house called Van Waters and Rogers, um, and got these big plastic bottles of sulfur and saltpeter, and then talked our parents into getting charcoal that that is for barbecue. But right. it's the same stuff. We figured oh, that yeah. out. And then for months and months and months, we had this underground fort that we dug out in the woods, <laughs> dug a hole, put a piece of plywood under it, covered it over and all that. And then by candlelight, we were making gunpowder in this little, with this little thing. Anyway, my grandmother had given me this antique nutcracker that looked like a giant wood doorknob with a log on the end of it. And we'd pack it down into this, into this Folgers <laughs> coffee can. And so we'd make a little bit of gunpowder and we'd put it in there and then we'd pack it down and we'd do the for months. Underground. What under were you planning on doing? Under, well, we didn't really know well, what the top. Yeah, yeah. Under candlelight in an underground <laughs> port. We were geniuses. And so... Candlelight. Yeah, yeah. Any, <laughs> Making gunpowder under candlelight. Full, and then we were trying to figure out what to do with it. And so then we decided we had these candles and we'd seal it with candle wax. So we would drip candle wax Genius. on this one pound, you know, not the big one, but about this big round, one pound coffee can, coffee can full of gunpowder, drip hot wax onto this thing in an underground port and all that. So we did that for about a week. It's amazing you have hair and, today. And then we figured out... We the only survivor? Then we figured out we hadn't figured out the fuse. So I asked my mom how to make a fuse, how did they make fuses? <laughs> And, and she told us... And Those were the days, so we man. we made some more gunpowder, got it wet, did the string wet, uh, and then rolled it into the powder. And then we took a drill and drilled down through oh. the thing into this thing and just about kill ourselves, but, but and <laughs> stuff this thing. So we had this bomb, and then we were going to decide what to do with it. So we told our parents that we were going to go fishing. It was a lake by our house. They were going to get up early and go fishing. So me and my sister and the next door neighbor and his brother got up in the morning and we took this thing out and we were gonna light it, but this fuse that we had was like 20 feet long. And it would go and it would sit there for about five minutes and it would go like that. And so we decided to cut it short and then we were thinking, uh, how are we gonna see this? Because we were hiding behind our house and all that. They happened to be working on the road, so this big pile of gravel in the middle of the road. <laughs> and we thought, let's put this up high so we can see it, you know. And so got in my parents' uh, uh, garage and got duct tape, and we decided to duct tape this thing to the to a foam pole, you know, so we could see it. We we're gonna hide behind this this thing. And by then it's like seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning. Anyway, and we cut this fuse down to about a couple of feet and, and lit it and hid behind there. Anyway, the, the opening on this thing, the wax opening on this thing, we had taped toward, just by chance, we had taped towards the hole. And it, we waited like 10 minutes and this thing finally went off. And it was black powder. So it was sulfur, saltpeter, and charcoal. Black powder. Just instant smoke for a block for an entire block, and this telephone pole 
didn't fall over. He went, bah, bah, and it was bouncing all over and sparks flying and and things catching on fire and all that. And and uh, and we were like in shock, you know. And, and this is like seven o'clock in the morning. And so we had told our parents we were going fishing and we all had our stingray bikes. So we all jumped on our bikes and hauled ass down this lake. And then we stayed there all day freaking out this about we've been all yeah, day yeah. well and then we came back and there was all this tape around everything the fbi was there and all this stuff um and for years when i was 30 i talked to my parents about it you told them yeah we kind of knew it was you but uh, <laughs> but it was so serious that uh, who are your we, parents <laughs> Yeah, well, kind of. Yeah, they 